Oi boys, welcome, welcome to another video on the channel. Finally, in what was a lot of people's uh, game of the round, Tonga vs PNG delivers and actually lives up to the hype. It was a Rugby League World Cup instant classic. Let's have a chat. So, Matema Atonga defeat PNG. They they barely get away. Literally by the skin of their teeth. 24 points to 18. The final try coming in the 78th minute. And believe it or not, this is the first time they've beat Papua New Guinea. Not ever, but from the last seven games, they've lost six and drawn once. And that was way back in the 1995 Rugby League World Cup. A pretty crazy stat. Um, from eight games played against PNG, they've only won once, and I couldn't find when that was. But yeah, I thought that was pretty interesting. Papua New Guinea have been somewhat of a bogey team for the Tongans, and this year of all years, a lot of people were predicting a easy win, I guess, for Tonga, but I didn't think that'd be the case. Because as good as Tonga looked on paper, this was probably one of, if not to the best PNG side we've seen fielded for quite some time as well. Papua New Guinea really made them work for that W. As for the game itself, for me it was the match of the tournament so far, and there are a couple of standouts uh, from both teams, as you'd expect in such a close game. We'll start with a few standouts for the Tongans. I think the obvious is Kion Kolo Matangi, who actually started this game playing at hooker. Shades of Josh Maguire playing for Samoa back in the day that took everyone by surprise. Uh, yeah, Kion Kolo Matangi was the starting hooker for Tonga with uh, Sonny Luke coming off the bench and Kolo Matangi had probably one of his best games in terms of influence and just impact in general. He even managed to get a try assist and score uh, the crucial match winning try in the 78th minute. A few other standouts for me, bro, Moses Sully in the centers. He pretty much picked up where he left off in terms of form. If you haven't been watching much uh, Dragons games, he's been up there pretty much with Ben Hunt as the Dragons the best player. He's a destructive runner. He's a pretty solid defender and that was all on display tonight. A few honorable mentions, I think their spine did alright. The young manly outside back playing fullback, uh, Dolu Gola, he, he had a pretty good game despite that one error. I thought he played well, it was also good to see Dui Moala Lolo here back playing for Tonga. He had a good game as well and the young guy, I think he's a Penrith junior, not too sure on that but it's Isaiah Gato, an 18 year old prospect getting mixy with some hardened vets. Not gonna lie, I was a little skeptical when they named him ahead of but again, I think he played well. The whole forward pack, they did all right for their first game of the tournament. They're just such a handful. The the bloody Adam Fanor Blakes for Tuoika. The Bunnies front row, I'm blanking on his name, but let me know in the comments. And can't forget about Tao Keaho. They were uh, They were hard to handle for the undersized, I guess, the PNG squad. I guess any forward pack going up against Tonga is undersized. Not only are they big, that isn't all that makes them hard to handle. It's that footwork, it's the soft hands. It gave Papua New Guinea quite a lot to think about. Speaking of, let's talk about a couple of players from PNG that really stood out to me. Top of the list, I've got down here in my notes. Who the heck is this hooker for PNG? And after his first few touches, I said, he is going to be a problem. Edwin Aipape. This is the first time I've seen him play and I've got to say, bruh, this dude is legit. You want to talk about influence, he was hands down the most influential player for Papua New Guinea, especially in that opening 20 minutes and the start of the second half. Um, first of all, the first half, he kept the Tongans on their toes. He's just so quick and I'm pretty sure his, uh, his little darts, his passes in contact is what eventually led to PNG scoring their first points. If I'm wrong about the first half, he definitely laid the platform for the first try in the second half. That was a crazy run from him. I'm a little hesitant to show highlights because I ain't trying to get uh, demonetized, but trust, the man is legit. He did make a couple of blunders towards the end of the match. If I remember correctly, he was the third man in that committed like a little cannonball type tackle, diving at the knees of uh, one of the Tongans that led to a penalty. Unfortunate in that regard, but it doesn't really take away from the performance he had. He even picked up man of the match. For me, it was between him and uh, Kolo Matangi. But yeah, Edwin Aipape. Gone. I thought the rest of PNG spine uh, played well. You had Lachlan Lamb, you had Kyle Leibutt and AJ, the South Sydney veteran at the back. All played as best as they could, I reckon. Just got a little unfortunate towards the end. You did somewhat see them adjust to Tonga's defense when they started running the back doors of Doom. And they actually got close to scoring quite a few times. But Gato shut down a couple and they were denied a couple. One, their makeshift winger stood out. And the other one, uh, maybe controversial. Uh, let me know in the comments actually what you think. 
their try in the corner in the second half was it a try or no try for me it could have went either way uh, we'll, we'll quickly talk about the uh the officiating i thought the on-field ref i thought he did a really good job it was the other refs of that were kind of questionable a few forward passes not being caught and all that but i don't really want to talk about the refs too much as i think overall it didn't really spoil the game that on-field ref though i didn't mind him those quick calls for the obstruction just calling it right as he sees it those are those are unexpected i'm just so used to seeing the play actually play out and the on-field refs leaving it in the hands of the video ref it was quite refreshing eh, just to see the referee making snap decisions and calling the obstructions in real time and moving play along I guess a confident ref is something that's been lacking in the league, I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, Liam Moore was uh, the on-field official. But yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for me boys, Tonga versus PNG. Many anticipated as the match of the round and it actually delivered on the hype. There's still one more game to go, but for now, as always, if you enjoyed that and would like to see more rugby league related content and more content in general, be sure to sub to the channel and don't forget to run and shoot that like button. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you. you, you. Later.